kids. My name's Isha Hakim, which means wise woman. I live in the city called Abel Beth Maka. Yeah, it's a long name and a little strange, but it means house of oppression. You know, it's often through oppression and trials that people gain wisdom, and that's exactly what we have here. Lots and lots of wisdom. Everyone calls our city Abel for short, and everyone comes here asking for advice. I'm not the only wise woman in the city. No. There are many, and many wise men are here too. In fact, our city is so known for giving good advice, and because of this, we have become like a mother to all of Israel. The Israelites have a saying, Ask Abel for advice, they say. Well, who am I to say otherwise? My story begins when Joab, the general of King David's army, arrived at our city with his men and laid siege to it. That means they encircled the city with all their soldiers and with all their weapons and wanted to destroy us. Can you believe it? They didn't knock at the gate or ask to speak to us. No, they just built a ramp to the top of the wall and started destroying it. How rude. You can imagine our surprise when we suddenly found ourselves surrounded by Joab's men. They were searching for Sheba, a rebel from the tribe of Benjamin who rose up against King David after Absalom's rebellion. Sheba had taken advantage of the fact that some Israelites were against the king. He wanted to separate them from God's people. But David was not going to allow another rebellion to rise up in Israel. So he hunted everywhere until they found Sheba in Abel. You're right. He had slipped inside our city, mixed with our people, and made it his home. You know, I really like to pray and study God's word. It's the only way to gain true wisdom from God and it begins only when we allow him to change our minds and hearts. Wisdom always tries to resolve things peacefully and as a faithful woman of God, I was not about to sit still and let Joab destroy my city. The Spirit of God gave me the courage to call out to Joab. I chose my words very carefully, and believe it or not, General Joab listened. He surrendered his plan of bloodshed and destruction for a much wiser plan. In order to save the city and avoid war, we had to kill Sheba with a sword. Really. Sheba is a symbol of Satan who rebelled against God in heaven, separated himself from the King of Kings, and brought division into our world. Just as Sheba lost his head because of his rebellion, Satan's head was also crushed at the cross by the death of Jesus. So if you want to be free from sin, you will also have to uproot sin from your life, or like the Bible says, Kill your sinful nature that's hidden in your heart seven days a week. Do you know which sword you can use to do this? The Word of God. That's also seen as a sword. Read and study it and make it part of your life. Then your old rebellious behavior will die and you can be free in Jesus Christ. By the way, did you know that Sheba means seven or seventh? That's important to remember because Sheba hid in the city of Abel and told lies about the king. This is going to happen again in the last days. There will be servants of Satan trying to convince people that there are wrong teachings in God's church. Do you know what? They will mix the holy things of God with teachings that are not true. They will deceive many about the Sabbath day, which is, as you know, the seventh day. Do you remember that God blessed and sanctified that day? 
Well, people are going to say that Sunday is the seventh day and not Saturday. You know what's so beautiful? Jesus gives us wisdom because he is the wisdom of God who comes to help us and save us from destruction. Jesus is the Prince of Peace and wants you and me to be peacemakers too. Do you also want wisdom in your life? I have such wonderful news for you. You can have it too. Accept Jesus in your heart, read and study God's word, pray and think about what he has done for you, and ask him to give you the power to obey him. Then you will truly grow in wisdom and no longer be rebellious against God. You will be free and happy. You will know that Satan is a defeated enemy and that your life belongs to Jesus. He will change you if you give him permission to be in your life. Don't wait. Goodbye, friends.